Well, and I think that this is a really great experience for Gavin to cut his teeth on this for multiple reasons. One being with, uh, which when, when you go to start your career, you've been exposed to that entrepreneurial thinking because yeah. as these companies, these bigger corporations have been around for so long, they're, they're, it's so, the change is so slow and they need more entrepreneurial thinkers to try to continue to push that needle forward so that they can evolve and change to adapt to how business is working. So you have that experience now. Do you think that, Gavin, do you think that because of what Tim just said, you will react differently than you would have 18 months ago towards a business that's making a decision the way that they are? Yes. It's tough to answer because I don't really know. Like, it's kind of hard for me to envision what it's going to look like once I once I leave here and get into the big corporate world. But won't be I as fun. Like, what'd you say? Won't be as fun. <laughs> well, I think that because Gavin, you're in a position now where you can make decisions. You can you can implement change. And the other aspect, and I think that this is really uh, what you have experienced at this point is so valuable. Is uh, I I want you to make mistakes. And as entrepreneurs, I think that you need to encourage making mistakes, just like we just got done talking about. So you can learn from those mistakes and then you get better from those mistakes. And there's so much of the corporate world, the corporate world, that there is so to, to avoid mistakes at all costs. And you're not really you're not learning. You're not moving forward. Then. So how do you as an owner then implement that and be OK with it? Because what I when I hear that, I, I agree with what you're saying. But to me, it's the toddler syndrome of where it's like, okay, until your kid goes to preschool, you want them to fail and learn those things. But then once they get into that system, basically for the rest of their life, it's like never fail again. And I feel like that's something that we need to push back on, right? And we need to do that. But I don't, I, I don't think that people incorporate that in any kind of way. And maybe it's because money's involved. And they don't want to lose money. And maybe it's a plethora of different things. But like, how, how does a business implement something like that when it's not, uh, they're not accustomed to it, I guess. Well, I think that I gave Gavin, I gave you a good five minutes before I threw you into the deep end. <laughs> Maybe. I, I mean, I would say from my, from my point of view, you know, what's made me feel comfortable taking ownership of my work, you know, doing meaningful things with Tim is that I know even if I mess up, you know, first of all, it's what's the worst that's going to happen if I mess up. And it's not like Tim's going to freak out, get really angry at me, fire me. Like I know that, he understands and he's putting me through these exercises on purpose. So having that trust, I guess, if you're superior. You know. I think the worst thing that he could do is sign you up for a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> or an Ironman. What is worse? You got two experts, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm not an expert. Interesting. Um, but, I mean, to like, that though, yeah, I mean, but so I think that you're going to end up working for people that are going to micromanage you and there's so many micromanagers out there to avoid mistakes. And that to me, this is just a great time for you to develop the skills that you need in order to be successful. So when you get out there into the corporate world, you're going to be so, you know, you're already conditioned to all that stuff. So you're going to be so used to being knowing what needs to be done and then executing what has to be executed that uh, you're going to, take a couple, have to take a couple steps back because there's going to be a few layers of bureaucracy between you and the decision maker. Someone who's been directly involved within the startup community for almost a decade, I want to talk to you about a serious pain point, spending a ton of time trying to understand the business landscape in the 757. That's time that should be focused on growing the business. At Startwheel, we're here to help you by compiling all of the news you need to know about in one place. Now there's no need to search multiple websites. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org.